welcome to Best Price Best Deal! Today I will let you know a new product to relieve you from the distinguished housework. I can't wait to see. So let's have a look at what most family, mothers, father, even children are complaining about it. Do you know the iron pot before? Not really, but I did some research. I did my, my homework, let's say. Okay, I laid the floor for you. Okay, okay, thank you, Aria. Yeah, so basically, this is an amazing company that have been in the market for quite a long time. Yes, look at the performance or even portfolio. They have such a diversity of products. Yes, can you imagine that more than 10 million, yes, I say 10 million of home robots have been sold across the globe. Basically, it all started in 1990 when three engineers founded the company. They mainly focused on military products, but later on they decided to expand their business. And here we are! They decided to launch their fantastic home robot vacuum cleaner that we are putting on sale today. The robotic vacuum cleaner? No. I mean, I'm talking about Dyson and Electrolux. <gasps> they would sell it for thousands of euros. High Robot made it and sold it for 299 euros. For the strategic positioning of iRobot, they're empowering people to do more. The vision to pioneer the robotic technology to fulfill the human needs. The mission to change the world by robotic technology make a difference, increase value to shareholders. And the last one is strategic positioning. We focus on R&D, operating management, and marketing. Let's Emmanuel talking about the strategy. So like Aria said, iRobot strategy is based on three dimensions. So basically on the R&D, marketing, but also operations management. So in a few words, they really put a high emphasis on delivering great product and they really want to deliver innovative products such as cleaning pool product, cleaning product, but also military products. And regarding the operations management, they really want to focus on the customer but also on the profitability, which is something understandable. So they really want to reduce as much cost as possible in terms of resources but also allocation. So here I'm gonna let my dear colleague is a marketing part. They focus on the large scale product and focus on delivering the value to the customer. Um, I think we need to dig in down about this part. So do we have a special guest today? Yes, we have a special guest coming from directly from the iRobot company. And this is Mr. Toma, this is the business manager. I think he's gonna give us a better insight of the company and I think we should let him talk. Okay. Okay, I came here today to tell you about our position in the market. We are trying to reach people around 35 to 45 years of age, working a lot, who are wealthy, but mostly who are seeking for more free time. We are also trying to reach people who are afraid by the future development of the technology, so the people who think that the robots will take their place at work in the future. Uh, that's why our the focus of our communication is to tell them, guys, the robot is there to help you, so just press the start button and go have free time. Um, the, with around 80% of the world's market shares, we are the leader in the market. Um, however, the robot vacuum cleaner is still seen as a gadget by a lot of people, so the market is still emerging. Um, we are at 3-4% market penetration, so there's a lot of potential, but it is also a critical stage because the market is threatened by competition. There are competitors who uh, buy robots and put their brand name on it. Those are big brands such as Philips and Mir. Um, 
and the robot vacuum cleaner is a very small part of their business. Moreover, the robot that they buy is not as good as ours. So for us, it can kill the market because if people buy the product and don't like it, they will they, they would say, well, robot vacuum cleaner is useless and bad. Uh, what makes us stronger than our competitor, I think, is our R&D strategy. Actually, last year we invested more than 69 million dollars in R&D. We own more than 180 international patents, and 10% uh, of our revenue come from the R&D contracts. We intend to continue in that way to anticipate customers' needs. Thank you so much for joining us today, and I really want to buy the iRobot now. Thank you very much. You're welcome. It was a pleasure. For me. I will introduce you a new special guest. This is the heart of iRobot. He is a iRobot R&D manager, Mr. Jirawat Jamwat. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Jirawat, for joining us today. Yeah. Can you You're tell welcome. me about the how success of iRobot R&D project? Yeah. What's the heart of iRobot? I will leave the floor for you. Okay. Today, I would like to talk about the uh, core business of the iRobot. First, uh, as you know, iRobot separate for two parts. In the white letter is the household and business sector. In the black letter is the defense sector. Let's start with the uh, household business sector. Our purpose, uh, value proposition is to improve quality of life by the robotics product. More time back in their life with less chores. And who is our customer? Customer is we separate for five group, but we are aiming to two group. One is a household and another one is business. Next, our customer relation, we have a customer service, distribution channel, and online. And don't forget that we have a channel for sales, the product, by online, retail, and partnership. Let's back to the key partner. Our key partner is uh, manufacturing in China and USA. And we have a partner about technology, such as Cisco. And we go to key activity, the main activity that we concern is the R&D and the designing. And our resource is that we have a passion of us and our ID is so strong. For all of this, it make our strong in the household. Our revenue stream and cost structure, we have two parts. First, cost, uh, cost structure, we have a cost about R&D part and manufacturing. And for the revenue stream, we got the money from sales, service and spare part. Thank you for joining us today. This yeah. is my pleasure. You know the iRobot is a professional product, but someone sent me this robot. Really? And he said it's half price. But you know, my mom always told me that you get what you pay. So let's introduce Pamela. She's the marketing manager of iRobot. So I think she might have a better insight and she will explain us how iRobot is competing. <laughs> Joining us today. Um, today, we would like to know how iRobot compete in the price war. What is the competitive advantage of iRobot compared with the, the half price robot? Thank you, Aria. Thank you, Emmanuel. And as you can see in this clock analysis, is it possible to find cheaper robot? But we deliver an add value and even cheaper than other competitors. How Thomas said before, we invest a lot of money in research and development to improve the technology of our robot and also to find new opportunity and develop the existing products. So our competitive strategy is the di differentiation. Let's move to the robot industry analysis. The competitive rivalry for us is quite low because how I said before, we compete for differentiation. The power of supplier is medium. We outsource the manufacturer of our robot. So depend on them, the production of our robots. Our substitute is mainly the traditional vacuum cleaner, but our product has advanced technology so our consumer can really don't care about the chores. About power of uh, buyers, even federal government and household have more choice. And new entrant, how Thomas say, is a really interesting market so a lot of companies are interested in this market. Thank you for Pamela to join us today. You're welcome. And let's buy the product and you can watch a demonstration in the following video. Patented three-stage cleaning system combines with AeroVac technology for maximum cleaning performance for all floor types. 
First, the spinning side brush cleans along wall edges, grabbing dirt and pushing it into the path of Roomba's counter-rotating brushes. These brushes work together to lift dust, debris, and hair off the floor. A powerful vacuum then pulls the dirt and hair off of Roomba's brushes and into the AeroVac bin. With Dirt Detect, a feature of iAdapt, Roomba uses an acoustic sensor to find dirtier areas and then spends more time cleaning them and starts working for you at the push of the clean button. Roomba returns to its home base to dock and recharge between cleanings. This is the best offer from us. This is the best vacuum cleaner in the world. For a best price, best deal, customer, iRobot Roomba, 620, 299 euros. For the smart housewife, but also for no fighting in your home place, please call us now. The deal is for now. Yeah, and special deal is you will get freely filled for two years, two years. Call us now, call us now. Thank you for today. And see you next week in, in best, best price, best, best deal. Bye. Bye. I have one request. Next time your parents are throwing away an old mixer or television, instead of letting it hit the trash, say, wait a minute. I want to understand how this works. I want to take it apart. Get your screwdriver, your hammer, whatever it takes. Break it, open it up, and see what you can figure out. Because it isn't magic. If you can understand how old things work, well, then you can invent new things.